everyone. This trigonometry video tutorial provides a basic introduction into the law of sines and cosines. It explains how to find the value of the missing side of a triangle. Good day everyone, my name is Eunice Pipito and today I'm going to discuss about the law of sine. So, the law of sine or sine law states that the angles of any triangle are proportional to the length of the corresponding opposite side of the given triangle. In the given example of a triangle, Angle A corresponds with side A, angle B with side B, and angle C with side C. And so, we will have the equation A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. You can use this given formula to find any missing angles and sides of a triangle. I am Christine Joyce T. Sudaryosa, and today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem involving the law of sines. Given triangle ABC, find the missing side C. First step to do is to substitute the given. Measure of angle C equals 46.5 degrees. Measure of angle B is equal to 39.4 degrees. Side B equals 7 while side C is missing. To apply the law of sines, we can use the formula sine B over B is equal to sine C over C based on the given. The next step is to substitute the given into the formula and it will be 39.4 degrees over 7 is equal to sine 46.5 degrees over C. Then simplify. To simplify, we simply cross multiply the equation. After that, we need to isolate C. To isolate C, we need to divide 39.4 degrees on both sides. And if we plug this in a calculator, we get C equals 8 units. Good day everyone, I am Julia Nicole Dimangubat and I will be discussing you a sample problem regarding the law of science. Two observers, Angel and Bryce, sight a helicopter at an angle of 45 degrees and 70 degrees respectively. If Angel is 18 kilometers away from the helicopter, find the horizontal distance between Bryce and Angel. Step 1 is to illustrate the problem and determine the given. Measure of angle B is equal to 70 degrees, measure of angle A is equal to 45 degrees, and side B is equal to 80. The next step is to solve for the measure of angle C. Now remember that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So to solve for the measure of angle C, we will subtract the sum of the measure of angle A and angle B to 180 degrees. So angle C is equal to 65 degrees. The next step is to solve for C using the law of sines. We will use the formula sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. And if we plug in the given, we will have sine 70 degrees over 18 is equal to sine 65 degrees over C. The last step is to simplify the equation. And we will have C times sine 70 is equal to 18 times sine 65. Next, we need to isolate C. To isolate C, we will have to divide sine 70 on both sides. Thus, C is approximately equal to 17.36. Therefore, Angel and Bryce are approximately 17.36 kilometers away from each other. What is Law of Cosines? Law of Cosines, also called as Cosine Law, states a relationship between the size of an angle of triangle. By the law of cosines, we have this following equation. a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. We can use this concept when we cannot set up a solvable solution using law of sines. Hello everyone, I am Camomile. And I am Edin. Example of the law of cosines. Let's say side A is 10, side B is 30, and angle C is 60 degrees. So let's solve the triangle in order to get side C. Angle C is 60 degrees while side A is 10 and side B is 30. So what we have is a side angle side or SAS triangle. In order to solve for side C, we will use the law of cosines. And this is the formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of angle C. So let us substitute the given problem to the formula. We have side A, which is 10 squared, plus side B, which is 30 squared, minus 2 multiplied by side A and B, which is 10 and 30, and cosine of angle C, which is 60 degrees. 10 squared is 100, 30 squared is 100, and 2 times 10 and 30 is equal to 600. 
and cosine of 60 is 1 half. 100 plus 100 is equal to 1000 and half of 600 is 300. 1000 minus 300 is 700 so c squared is equal to 700. And we get the square root of both sides and get the answer of 26.46. So in short, side c is equal to 26.46. Hello everyone, this is Arabella Lee Principe and I am Ethel Marie Quijada and now we are going to show you a word problem about law of cosines. Suppose you walk 5 miles due east and 3 miles northeast, how far have you walked? Let's draw a picture. Imagine you walk 5 miles due east and 3 miles northeast and you want to know how far you're away from home. Imagine that there is home and if you walk straight line, how far would you have to go to get back home? We all know that both sides are 5 and 3, so we call the missing sign C. And now we must find the value for C. So first, we must get the opposite angle of C. Look carefully. If you go north, is you are making a 45 degree angle. If you go north, it would be 90 degree. If you keep going east, it would be 0 degrees. And now we must set up the problem. It says C squared equals 5 squared plus 3 squared. Then subtract 2 times the side is 5 and 3. Then take the cosine times the side you are trying to find. It says cosine times 135 degrees. Next is simplify. It says 5 squared equals 25 and 3 squared equals 9. Total of, and total of 34 and minus 30 and cosine of 135 degrees is negative square root of 2 over 2. And the answer is 55.213. And that is the value of c squared. Then square root both sides. So c is approximately equal to 7.431 miles. I hope you enjoyed and understand the discussion well. Till next time!